Good morning, dear friends. Good afternoon. Good evening. We have come with more news and updates. And um, you have heard so many things that happened in Abba, Biafra land. You pro profoundly heard that, um, that uh, the zoo army were bite. But did you hear they killed some people in our homeland? They repeated what they used to do before. And that notwithstanding, this information coming here now is for those in Imo State. If you're a civil servant under Hope Uzodema, there is update for you. Our Prime Minister has something and he noticed. You know, he digs out some things. <laughs> when he dug out the one of Ifanyi for people we are surprised. Like, what is he talking about? Again, he has come to tell the civil servants of Imo State to please be aware of this, he's about to say. And then, the three days off given to Biafrans was actually for them to sit at home and vote. But the military took it to another thing. And of course, we will not hesitate to give them goto goto. Men on ground will not hesitate like we used to tell them. Nani wo bode we. Obodada tobona ja. Na people get up. And you will not come there to do anyhow. If you do anyhow in Biafra land moving forward, you see anyhow. Yes. Because all land saw on our car some people. But the one I don't support is one of the news I got aftermath of that state at home that vigilante in part of Abia killed two blood brothers because they were arguing just argument according to eyewitness reports that lady was crying updating their friends crying for help their mother widow one sister two brothers they killed two brothers in a day what is that? Are we fighting ourselves? The answer is no. If you are giving gun and you cannot confront the enemies, please drop the gun. That means you are not worthy to have that gun. You know, one thing leads to another. I just diverted a little bit. But here comes the voice of our Prime Minister about the Imo civil servants. Over to you, our Prime Minister. Government. Hope Uzodema has, you know, positioned them to be killed for nothing. We don't want anybody to die. We don't want anybody to be used to blackmail Samonekba. If you allow yourself to be used to blackmail Samonekba, believe me, you will die in vain. We don't want you to die in the hand of Nigeria State, in the hand of Hope Uzodema, who has planned to massacre their friends and say, oh, yeah, they are the one who put this at home. Now they are trying to enforce it. Do not come out. That's how we usually shout it. You know, Nigeria scam is what they are known for. Fraud is what they are known for. They cheat in everything. They will tell you something else and do something else. And when Hopus Odema want you to come out, please tell him to come out first. Uh, to come and lead the way in Imo State from the 29th of this month. And uh, so so that at least at least when they start shooting you, you know that the police following him were the ones shooting you because. The place where he is going to come, they will also shoot people there. So please, we do not want anybody. They have done everything to make the people of Biafra hate us, but it is not working. As you can see today, the turnout of the voting is another groundbreaking. And of course, I know it is going to be shocking them, but we don't care. So please, everywhere you are in Biafra land, Anambra State, Old Anambra State, Enugu, Old Enugu State, do not come out. They have positioned themselves and many people will fall a victim. We don't want you to fall a victim. We want this particular message to be shared across Biafra land. And our State of the Nation, uh, State of the Union address will be on the 30th. So on the 29th, we will see from 6 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock in the evening, everywhere in Biafra land will be shut down. On the 30th, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., 
everywhere in Biafra land will be shut down. On the 31st, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., everywhere in Biafra land will be shut down. The only thing you are going to be doing is if you have a unit, a polling unit, in your own vicinity and you have not voted, just go and exercise your own voting, right? And if you do not want to participate physically, pick up your smartphone, go to the uh, online and register your vote. It's very, very simple. There is no uh, ID card needed. There is no picture needed. There is no email needed. All you need to do is write your name, your state, your date of birth, and click vote for Biafra. And also, I will shock you people today that we also recorded people who voted for Nigeria. Today, people voted for Nigeria, but I am not blaming them. I think maybe uh, they don't know how to use either the voting card or something because nobody, no Biafra, we you know want to participate participate in this and then vote Nigeria. We have few people that actually voted Nigeria. Well, it's a good thing. Well, I'm not expecting any, even a single person to vote for Nigeria. But those people who voted, I believe, they did not read English very well. They don't know which one is, uh, you know, is it yes or no. You know, now our people in the village, many of them don't, cannot even read and write. So I believe these are the, as a result of those who did not understand English. All right, uh, I will give the, uh, the uh, time to the host. Uh, you can bring people in. I'm open for question, question and answer. Thank you. Before they cut us off again, there one. Sonny, are you there? Okay, fellow dear friends, uh, we are going to be bringing you in now. Thank you so much, our Prime Minister, Nochuku Kabiyama Primi Henile, continue to strengthen you for the work you are doing for us, dear friends. I happen to be the Deputy Minister of Communication, Rafael Chavaka Jere. Please, as you're coming in, uh, just uh, raise your hands and uh, we are going to give you the microphone, please. Do not waste more than 60 seconds. Thank you very much for all your accolades. And you can all agree with me that these are not the days of Uhuru yet. We are not yet in Uhuru. Do not come with accolades, just come with questions. Very you know, engaging questions indeed, so that the PM will respond. So the first hand I'm seeing here is uh, Mazi Benchuk. Benchuk, please grab the microphone. You have 60 seconds, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much, Mazi Van Bongbom. Uh, thank you, PM, for the wonderful job and the wonderful assignment you are doing. You are really, really, really wonderful. Uh, PM, I, I just have uh, one uh, question. It's like an information we're receiving from uh, uh, Hinterland. We got informed uh, uh, that uh, Hope Uzodinjo is using another system now of uh, land grabbing by using some of a traditional ruler. Uh, I'm from Olu, precisely. Uh, there, there was a, a chief, uh, one of the traditional ruler called uh, as a Douglas. Now they wanted to grab a land belonging to three community, saying that they want to build, a, he want to build a governor's lodge. Is anything uh, pursuing him out of a uh, Douglas? Uh, uh, place or what i would don't know i don't know if you have any information about this thank you thank you i don't know i don't have any information about this but what i can assure bia france is that every land grabbed from indigenous people will be revoked immediately bia france has been restored completely revoked thank you uh, sorry uh, he used now caterpillar and with other people now to be clearing can, the land he can use a uh, space uh, what is it called ufo if he like he can use ufo once Biafra is declared and restored, every land will be revoked. And let them be alive. I just pray that they are alive to witness it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ben Chooks. Uh, you repeated that question as if you don't know what it takes. When the country and Biafra belongs to you and you are in charge, who is Hope Zalinja? Hope Zalinja that will be on the run. <laughs> if you like, let him use UFO, like our Prime Minister said. Let him go and employ anything from Australia to clear everywhere. If you are going to be uh, given land by Hopus Adinjo, are you collect it or you give money to collect a better 
Uh, Otunwa Mwanya, please uh, grab the mic and uh, 60 seconds, please. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good dear friends. Uh, sir, please, my question is, uh, someone suggested um, if it's possible to bring this, um, the pattern they are using in Homeland now to the diaspora because since they are not, uh, a lot of, he suggested that since a lot of people don't know how to operate with the, with the phone type, if it's possible to bring this type they are using in Homeland now to the diaspora so that people can participate. Thank you very much. Those who cannot know how to vote can stay. Our target is even in homeland. These are the people that needed this freedom more than anybody. At the same time, those of you in diaspora, if you don't know how to use your phone to vote, shame on you. You can't you can live in diaspora, apply for apply for residence permit in your country, apply for passport, went through all the schools you went through by applying for your document and then it comes to your freedom you contribute money and you cannot you don't know how to vote that's a shame so we don't care for you and remember that if you do not participate in this voting we have record of everybody that participated in the voting so once even if you are paying billions and we did not see you participating in this voting my brother you have you are going to lose a lot thank you thank you pm uh, thank you Otomamwanya and uh, pass the message across as you've gotten it. All right, so worry sister, grab the mic and uh, bring your question. Please, uh, 60 seconds, thank you. Thank you. My prime minister, thank you very much for your hard work, for your good work. We all love you from Urobo Soko State. We pray for you every day for more God's blessings and to strengthen you for all you do. Oh, uh, my question, I don't know if I can ask the question here because it's a little bit um, dicey regarding uh, security. Please uh, don't ask it. If you know it is dicey, don't ask it then. You already are not comfortable with it. So ask a question relating to the days uh, we have at hand for the... Uh, 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 okay, then. then let me go regarding, uh, regarding the radio. You know, the first time when you started, you said you are going to start from... Uh, the the coaster. So I was thinking the radio will start from the you know, new data. You said data, old data. You know the first time. So now you said radio is in a Calabar now. So I'm just wondering how long again will it take for it to get to Urubo Isoko State because we are desperate of it to get that radio for us to do the needful because it's like they are not getting it because there is no radio for us to preach the gospel to them. Although we are doing it through the space, but if we have that Urobo uh, radio, I think we will penetrate even more. So that's well, first of all, answer. yeah, first of all, get a location ready for the radio, get a location ready for the transmitters. Uh, the, um, the place where the radio is going to start from now in the, uh, in the coastal side is in formal Aquaibum state. So, and I believe that this week we are into the radio will Stop. cover the entire Akwai bomb state. That's our that's our target this week because we've delayed we've delayed the uh, the uh, you know the kickoff of this uh, project for one week. And you know technical issues sometimes you plan and then uh, something will come and delay it. So we are hoping that uh, by this week before the end of this weekend. The uh, people in Akwai for me, order for people in Akwai for me, order for please. Who is this for me? Please, who is this for me? Himself, who is the person? Oh, I have to remove him. I'm sorry, sir. So, so, have to remove him. Um, uh, so the people in uh, old Akwai Bomb State or former Akwai Bomb State will be able to start listening to the voice of their first satellite uh, radio. So that's where we are going. Then, if you want uh, to be in the next list, please. Your your the state admin should um, should liaise with uh, with uh, uh, you know uh, the person I gave you contact last time, the same person, uh, liaise with them and let them find uh, a suitable place. And if you have a three places that is ready, then uh, Robo Isoko will be the next state after uh, after a while bomb, uh, from a while bomb state. Thank you. So, so the ball is in your court. Okay, the three places, sir, will it be in uh, the same state? You know, like we have Sapler, we have Worry, 
we have the Ugeli. Can we the same, your state? What is your state name? Urobai Soko. Uh -huh. So Urobai Soko, we have three uh three uh transmitter. So okay. look for Correct. the look for where to be uh, it can be stored. Thank you. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. Right, thank you, Warri Sister. Thank you for that uh, very important question. And uh, please, if you unmute yourself without getting the mic, we will remove you and we will not bring you up again. Please, if we give you the microphone, it means that you have to stay muted until you are given the mic. And the way you get the mic is by raising your hand, please. Thank you very much. Uh, Mazi Onyeka, please unmute yourself and 60 seconds, please. Thank you so much. Um... My great Prime Minister greets you and your cabinets and ministers. More greets to your uh, Sir, um, be, uh, pertaining the woman you talked about when we are uh, uh, giving your speech, Aisha Yusuf, whom I learned she's from uh, Igudomi Godo, according to her. I want to ask her, is she aware that her people are being raped and killed in mass? Are you the one that's causing it? The people that are being killed in mass in the north beheld that pay money to go to their farm, pay money to harvest their crop. Are you the one that costs it? You know, full and money that woman and give her free hand to use her to perpetrate their agenda, not because they value her. After using her, they will throw her away like others. That's why they give her free hand. I want to ask her this question. Are you the one that causing the killings in the north? Where people are being beheaded? Where villages are being charged millions if they don't pay, they carry you to and behead them, and ladies, they will not come back again. Are you the one that costs it? I think that woman that she has prized, and we're going to give her what she has priced this time around. I'm so angry for that, that, that happened upon her to they open her mother's infested mouth to talk to my friends and also talk to, to imagine in Biafra affair. And what that one is by the way, sir. Sam, um, um, from Udmegu State, from Uli County precisely, last time, a few days behind, this um, uh, criminal that have been sponsored by Shina Samu and uh, Paris Kumango. Uh, Kar White and um, Benjamin Madhu and Co. They, um, they attacked people and they were shouting Biafra. They kill, they kill people and they, they rob them. Although I thank God that my people understand that they are not fighting for Biafra. But I just want to draw your attention to that because they have they are doing it repeatedly. Even the they, they almost killed my brother, but the bullet they shot her went and killed someone else. You know, the next day they want to rob another person and kill the person in the shop. They said they use this bike, they use this bike and they AK for seven. So immediately I told them that these people, they are not for Biafra. They are those being sponsored to sabotage our, our women that are defending our lands. So I thank God that uh, those guys, my brother, they understand. So I just want to draw attention to this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I don't know. The PM, I've heard you and maybe respond later. Yes, sir. Please send a, please send a message to the, um, the media team where this thing is happening. So we are going to see how to start dealing with them. These criminals, uh, it is a game they have done for many years, you know. And uh, now, of course, they are out. You see them shouting on social media. Uh, you know, they are not finding things very easily. But we will not allow them to flourish. Thank you. Uh, fellow Biafrans, before the next question, there is something going on, which uh, my attention has been called on it, and I want people to listen to this particular voice. And also a pharmacist. Um, a consultant of obstetrician gynecologist. Uh, what I have heard and I have listened to is actually really giving me a high sense of burden that there is a vaccine in the town moving around and it will get to Ibo land on the 28th of May, 2024. I want to advise every family, every gay child between the age nine and 14, as they have stipulated, even between the age nine and 55 years, any lady between the age, in fact, every girl, every lady who is not above 
55 years. Don't take any vaccine of cervical cancer prevention. Every cervical cancer care is administered when you have gone beyond your childbearing age. If by omission... Are you hearing that? They are bringing vaccine to stop reproduction or reproductive system of Biafran women as, as we are today. They are bringing vaccine. That vaccine is actually meant for people that are above 50 years, women that are above 50 years, that don't, that no longer give birth. But you know what they do? They say this particular vaccine is for uh, girls between age of 9 to 14. What kind of evil is this? On this note, anybody that is going to come to Biafra land to give this particular vaccine, capture them and give them, administer this vaccine for them, to them, let them carry it. We don't, we don't need anybody from Nigeria state to come to our land and give this poison to our young girls so that they will not be able to give birth. That is the target because they know they can't kill us with guns again. And now they want to stop our children from giving birth in future. So from the age of nine, they will give you this particular injection and it will destroy your reproductive system. That is the target. And we will not allow them. So when they come, let them first of all take the particular vaccine. And after taking it, you turn them back. After you have captured and give them this, let them take the vaccine by themselves. After that, they will go back. And let them come back after four years. And let's see how, if we are going to, uh, you know, continue to be with them or not. In the next four years, they should come back. By then, we don't need them. Because by then, we are already in Biafra. So nobody is allowed to bring vaccine that Biafra people did not test and did not take into lab to know exactly what this vaccine is all about. As a matter of fact, it is a doctor that is giving this information. And the doctor has explained that this particular vaccine is for women above 50. Why would you now come to Biafra land? I want to inject this particular vaccine to our girls that are between the age of 9 to 14. Because they think that now they cannot kill us with gun again. Let them come with the vaccine so that they will not be able to give children, to you know, give birth to young children anymore in Biafra land. So by the time this, uh, if they succeed in this, and these girls will take this particular vaccine at the age of 9 to 14, in the next 20 years, nobody will be able to give birth again in Biafra land. And they will eliminate us. This particular plan can take them 100 years. They don't care. But it will not happen. Our eyes are open. I want everybody to listen. A uh, case of eventuality that you want to prevent uh, cervical cancer, you must be diagnosed and be sure that it's a high risk skin uh, situation that you are developing cervical cancer before you take any medication against uh, cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is a very rare uh, gynecological disease. Uh, it's a very rare uh, cancer. Uh, and I want to advise people. Ndibo. Any prevention, any drug prevention, any vaccination, against cancer of the cervix is quite obnoxious. It is quite killing. And it's about to making our young girls and our uh, young ladies, women at childbearing age to be sterile. Are you hearing that? Take it, reject it, and inform others to reject it as well. Thank you very much. I mean your brother, your friend, Dr. John Wabeze. That is, that is an advice from Dr. John Wabeze. We are not only rejecting it, we will make sure that those who are coming to administer this particular vaccine will take enough dose of it before going back. That is the that is the order. They will take this particular vaccine and then go back. That is going to be the experiment. They can't use our children for experiment anymore.
from age of nine to, to, to 14, when they actually, this particular vaccine is for age of 50 and above. And you tell me, oh my God. Anyway, uh, you can go ahead, uh, the co-host, please. Thank you, PM. Thank you very much for this very vital and very timely information. Uh, please, you need to share this particular video, share this uh, uh, space, and let everyone get this information. The media will also intensify this information going forward, at least within these uh, few days, so that everyone must uh, be aware. To be forewarned is to be forehand. And uh, please, my Minister of uh, Information, I don't know if you are there. If you are there, please always indicate uh, we are still here. And if you're having a challenge, you can just uh, go down and come back again you will be co-hosted by the PM. Probably you're having a network challenge. Thank you, my able minister. Well, the, information, uh, the information reaching me is that uh, Peter Mba is copying our space. <laughs> and you want to come to space. <laughs> 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 you want to come to space. <laughs> I remember. Olu Ole. Monkey. We move. Airborne, brethren, airborne. Okay, uh, we have a uh, 555 in the house, uh, our co-minister uh, in the communication department. Uh, 555, please, you're welcome. Uh, take your chance, 555, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, my minister. Thank you, our PM. May God Almighty continue to bless you. Uh, without wasting time, please, this question I want to ask is, is something that is disturbing a lot of people. A lot of people then the question is concerning the id card which we are doing and i want to ask this question so that i can have it on record so that every other person that is affected will will take it and uh, solve his own problem you know nigeria is being they are doing a lot of fake fake documents some people that want to do the id card that is using another people's country to seek asylum in Europe, and they they are they have a European passport and the European European resident. Now they want to come to Finland and they want to do the ID card with those fake ID card um, identity they have. Now the African ID card is digital, number one in the whole world. They are asking now. When they have, if they get the ID card, the African ID card, which is the normal resident they have here in Europe and every other place in the world, since the Afra is more digital and authentic, when they do it, when the Afra is restored, how are they going to get another ID card that will suit to their original identity? This is the question I want to ask. Please, thank you. As you know, the Biafra government is only verifying the identity issued to every Biafrans anywhere they are in the world. These are the documents we are recognizing. We're not recognizing Nigeria document. So if those people who are using fake name or fake uh, uh, information, uh, it is not at this point in our position to correct already issued a doc uh, document by, uh, you know, any nation or any country in the world. So it is not the position of the Biafra government at this point. But after Biafra has been restored, recognized, and become an independent state, then we go into verification of these uh, individuals who have used fake document or fake name in different countries. And the job of the Biafra government is to go into verification individually, where you are going to prove who you are. And then, of course, the investigation will be done, and this thing will be handled on an individual basis. Then the government will be able, if you pass, uh, you know, this test, the government will be able to change your your name or your identity based on the information you submitted that the government has verified. So this is going to be the way it is going to work. So the name you are answering now on your uh, on your document in your different country of residence is the document that the Biafra government will recognize, nothing else, until further notice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fab, are you okay with that? Yeah, I guess yes. Okay, thank you. 
talk bad for like now. Then if I don't need to see consider me. Hello? Who spoke now? Okay, uh, please, um, uh, Claire, please uh, grab the mic. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Van Van Van. And um, good evening to you, uh, PM. Thank you for your good work and thank you for your resilience. Your integrity is intact. Your, your, what you say, you are a talk and do, Prime Minister. Um, can you hear me? Who is opening their mic? Uh, okay, Chuku, Chuku, can you are gone and you will not be coming back here again. Uh, please go ahead, uh, Claire Dems, please. Right. Thank you so much. Um, simply, uh, my, um, I do appreciate all the effort you're giving to our people. Um, this news you've given us is um, for it's dear to my heart because I'm in the health sector. And um, the news is that he's going to be he's going to start distributing this um, this thing or from the 28th, which is tomorrow. So that is very frightening. Um, this is this is an emergency. So for anything to be distributed like that, the um, the, the the state health sector must be involved. So it's important that our message should be directed to uh, all the states, all the states' um, health sector, so that these um, vaccination on, or, or, uh, to kill our people will not even start. I want you to make a pronouncement or um, let them know that it's not only the people that is bringing the vaccine. The vaccine must have been improved from the highest level. They will be, be punished heavily if any of our people have been given this dangerous vaccine as well. So that's one. Um, the second thing is that um, Aisha Yusufu, I have, he's got, she's got a middle name, Somotu Chuku. I don't know the meaning of that. Is she afraid to be a Biafran? Because Chuku means um, it's, it's something that is synonymous to Biafra. So Aisha has always been a mole, is used by the Nigerian government. So uh, uh, nobody should, um, um, I'm just saying that I want you to make a reference to this middle name that she's got so that she can be exposed for who she is. She's just frightened that Biafra is on his way. And that is the same thing every one of them is doing currently. So that's my question. Thank you, Pastor Van Van Van, for allowing me to make this comment. Thank you. Sorry, I did not understand the question. The question is that Aisha has a middle name that has, um, is called Chuku. Somoto Chuku. So I wanted you to make a comment about that. Somoto Chuku, she's from Igodomi Godo. Somoto Chuku is her name. Yes, Somoto Chuku, it means because this is, this is where, because she's from uh, Agbede in Edo State, which is Edo State. So this is what we have been saying, that we are all the same. So why is she having, I mean, you can really answer the question because you are not, um, his, um, you are not her parents. But I just wanted you to make a comment on that, that that is her middle name that she's got. Well, I'm not aware of, I'm not aware of her middle name. And yeah, one, that's the middle one, name in the paper. Yeah, and one thing you, you know that, uh, uh, well, if that is an middle name in the paper, then uh, uh, you know she's deceiving herself. But I don't think uh, the question is something I'm going to address because uh, it doesn't have any sh any connection with me. I don't. Anybody can answer anything, you know, to deceive herself or some people. So uh, the, her name can be anything. But uh, and uh, I don't want to start saying that uh, she's a beer friend and all that. So I don't want to go into that. I have just uh, responded to. You know what she said, and uh, we we'll leave it at that. So if she's a Biafran or her name is uh, whatever Tonchuku, I don't care. We have seen people, you know, even speaking Igbo more than many of us, and uh, they are not uh, Igbo people. They are not a Biafran. So the name uh, does not uh, mean anything to me. She can be anything. Thank you. Thank you, PM, and uh, thank you, Claire Dims. Yeah, very important uh, that has been clear.
uh, rage and fury of your network got uh, the chance to allow you to open your mic and uh, come with your question. Pastor, thank you very much. I hope I'm coming out. Coming out clear. Go ahead. Correct, correct. Um, my Prime Minister, the Biafra Eglara, the man we call from Misoko Agbadaguru, also, I scribe body for you. You did make us proud, you understand? God bless you for all that you are doing. Within one, uh, 50, 60 seconds, I will make my submission and ask my question as with the heart, make it a ball, you understand? My submission is that Simon Ekpa no good. Simon Ekpa is this, is that his enemies are looking for their heads to key. But the idea of Simon Ekpa the chief of defense staff is using it by saying for the first time in Nigeria that uh, the database is very important. That of course, the templates we are using, they will learn from it because we broadcast. If there is no pre information to be friends, of course, how are we going to coordinate? So whenever we give information out, they use it for their own fallen government. <laughs> but that does not matter. Original is original. Fake is fake. <laughs> we know how to press our buttons, how to move before it is too late. That is what is paramount in all these things. Move before your enemies move. Move in the right direction. Move in the right format. And you say, result will come. My dear people, this is what we call a rap as here now. And uh, we urge you to please take lead. Do not be diverted. Information is power. It can keep you alive. All right? Thank you. God bless you.